Air Max 95's iconic shoes celebrating its 25th anniversary year this year and they've just just finished up coming out with the OG neons as a retro 25 years later celebrating that shoe and then here we are coming with a feel of a retro you know what it reminds me of I hadn't thought of this is right here this is a Nike Air Jordan 4 which is supposed to be a mashup between the Jordan 4s and the Air Max 90 neons uh, Air Max 95 neons oh goodness if I already blown it in this video um, and Air Max 95 I never cut that kind of stuff out I always leave it in uh, Air Max 95 neons uh, and that, that was a great mashup you can really see the Air Max 95 neons in that Air Jordan 4 uh, and then if we come and look at today's shoe you can see that feel in there now what I'm saying about this and and you know you can correct me if you don't agree and then you have a difference of opinion in the comments down below uh, but I'm seeing that there are two parts of this shoe that you can see the OG 95s in there you can feel it you can feel that OG going on and then there's one part that isn't like that and hopefully you'll agree with me after I've told you the bits that I'm saying mm, yeah this is either an echo of the OGs or an actual like you know straight up 95 and then there's parts that are just I don't know where they've come from where they've got this from is totally Totally out of left field and then there's the name of the shoe um, I I don't know what it means um, it's like N D S T R C K C T something something like that I've got I've got I've got one thought about what they're going for and what they, they mean like um, there's a Nike Air Air Max 90 is it N R G you know energy and you know you know what they're trying to do there like an undefeated the brand undefeated sometimes you see that as U N D F T D and it's like undefeated and you know that's undefeated uh, but this one here is like you know N D S T R K T is like mm, not sure what you're going for although I've got a hint of maybe maybe a clue about what's going on there so um, so I'm going to get into all that today as we take a look at this shoe this upcoming release of the Nike Air Max 95 mm, just go. this is a Tokyo Bar 23 Seeker channel Tokyo Bara Tonesu Sneaky Channel Test. My name is Chapsu Node. My name is Jimmy Tigurasai. And every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, what's in the spotlight is probably a Nike Air Max 95. <laughs> uh, and I'm not, I'm, just, I'm not, uh, that's it. I'm done trying to pronounce the name. I'm not, not going to go there anymore. Uh, I might give you what I think it means, uh, you know, later in the video, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just keep making that funny noise every time I try and name this shoe. Um, but it is, it's coming up on December the 30th in a release uh, to celebrate the last couple of days of the 25th anniversary of the Nike Air Max 95s. And I was thinking about this today because the Nike Air Max 90s are, of course, celebrating their 30th year, and then this shoe being five years younger, celebrating its 25th year. But both of those, the Air Max 90s and the Air Max 95s, the following year they weren't really followed with much big especially the 95s it wasn't until the 97s that something big came along so um so i don't know what they're going to celebrate at nike uh, between 95s and 97s and then over at the the 90s you know after that came some interesting shoes uh there's the 180s so maybe that's where they'll go with that um and then uh, into the the 270s and stuff like that so maybe that's where they'll you know push the line a little bit but it's uh there's going to be a double lull Double lull over the Nike Air Max line where they don't have shoes to celebrate, you know, the, the 30th and 25th anniversaries uh, until next year or the year after next, I should say, when the 97s will come into the spotlight. So uh, so to end that year, you know, the, the 25th anniversary year of the Nike Air Max 95, we come in with the neon OG colorway, but on a very, very interesting shoe. Uh, and what I'm going to do for you guys today is go through the shoe and show you the bits that are identical to an Air Max 95, the bits that echo an Air Max 95 and the bits that are just a completely different shoe and nothing to do with the Air Max 95. So uh, so let's get into that today. Uh, quickly talk about the name of the, the shoe, the N-D-S-T-R-K-T. -T. I think what they're going for is something like Indestruct and they want they want to kind of hit Indestructible, um, but it doesn't work. Sorry, Nike. Sorry, Air Max. Uh, Indestruct. Uh, you know, it's not even indestructible. It's just indestruct, uh, and it's it's too complicated. It's too confusing. Too many people out there are just going to be like, "Well, I don't know what you're going for." So uh, I know there is a big push around the world to shorten things. You know, I'm living in Japan, where they shorten the names of everything. Starbucks is Staba, Mister Donuts is Mister Do. 
uh, and they shorten the names of, of many, many things instead of going for uh, the full names of things. So, you know, if you are trying to shorten a name, this is the country to get some traction with that. But even then, this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they're going for. It's not, whatever it is, it doesn't work. Sorry, Nike. Sorry, Air Max 95. Sorry, anybody out there who thinks it does work and are like, you know, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. But if you think that, let me know in the comments down below and we'll have a difference of opinion. Kind of like differences of opinion. Uh, now, I was saying that what I was going to do is going to show you the bits in the shoe that are, uh, you know, true to the OG, echoes of the OG and nothing like the OG. So in my opinion, what we're talking about is a Nike Air Max 95 <laughs> sandwich. Uh, and we've got the top part of the shoe echoes the OGs uh, in a very strong way, if not identical to the OGs. Uh, the bottom part of the shoe, very identical to the OGs, except for one little bit on the outsole. And then that middle part of the shoe, it's like a completely, the upper, it's a completely different shoe. It's got nothing to do with Air Max 95s, uh, if, if you, you ask me. So, uh, so the upper is totally like, and then it's got a shell around it that's completely new so um so let's look at those bits now i'm gonna do it let's go with like like completely og and then we'll go with like echo of og and then we'll go to like completely not og so uh so let's start up on the tongue that kind of oblong air max tongue branding in two different colors with the air in one color and the max another and then the, the, that kind of feeds down into the tongue in a funny sort of shape a uh, very air max 95 this is your standard kind of uh, lacing system and tongue system on these guys and this part of the laces is, is very standard with that kind of loop um, I don't know if we can call them eyelets because they're not like little holes uh, that you put a lace through they're more like loops um, I think they're called lace stays some people no not lace stays that's wrong I hmm there's, there'll be something to do, eye loops or something but that's very Air Max 95 at this point of the shoe uh, but usually with Air Max 95s that's tucked right in there in the lacing system uh, but with these guys it kind of like stays all the way down uh, kind of reminds me of I think it was a Tailwind 4 from the Klopp brand now that I think about it um, but that's a whole different story so uh, uh, but the lacing system up high very OG along with the tongue on there uh, and then if we flip around to the back and have a quick look at the heel just before we go to the next part it is that again that's very very sort of OG you've got that kind of uh, hourglass effect going on uh, with the, the wide at the top gets thin and then comes back out again very OG Air Max 95s um, so those places are very strong for the Air Max 95 and then also the midsole very strong for the Air Max 95 with the sort of three windows uh, running along the lateral side uh, I think I'm right in saying it's like two small ones at the front and then the midfoot shank and then a big one at the back uh, which is very Air Air Max 95. So those three places, tongues and laces up high, not the full lacing system, uh, the heel and then the midsole are just sort of straight out of Air Max 95, you know, 101 manual. You know, Air Max 95s for idiots, that's straight up there. Uh, but then we get into areas that are kind of played around with a little bit different and the outsole is a big part of that. The outsole on Air Max 95s is quite sort of striking in two ways and one way is retained and the other way is not. And the one way it's retained is that sort of oblong kind of, uh, it almost looks like an eye actually now that I think about it, um, that runs from right, the heel section through to about the midfoot section and that's retained on these guys. Slightly different shape than a normal Air Max 95 but still basically retaining that. But then the tread is totally different. I mean the Air Max 95s have a kind of chunky, almost outdoorsy or off-trail feel about their, their outsoles. Uh, but what you can see here is this is much tighter um, thread that they've got going on the, on the outside of these guys and that um, the uh, the grip uh, that you've got on these is very different from what you'd see on a normal or regular or OG Air Max 95 so so the outsole does retain some elements of the Air Max 95s but then uh, it's also updated and changed in some ways as well which brings us to the upper uh, because the upper on these guys is very much not the OG uh, Air Max 95s the OG Air Max 95s I think is six layers of horizontal fabric and it usually um, runs from something durable to something um, kind of uh, aerosol you know so it goes from something solid uh, up to a mesh for example where the mesh is 
is a bit more breathable. Uh, but that's horizontal lines that run the length of an Air Max 95. And all of that is gone. And it's replaced with what they're calling a militarized uh, frame. And that's that rubber that runs right along the edge of the shoe uh, and gives it a bit more support, a bit more sort of substance to it. Uh, but it's very not Air Max 95s. And then behind that frame, you can see those lacing units I was telling you about before coming down into the sort of midfoot area and then all the way past the frame and towards the midsole, uh, which doesn't usually happen on Air Max 95. So that lacing system that up high is OG, kind of pulls its way down into the upper and is less OG when we get into the upper on these guys. So uh, so all in all, I mean, you've got you've got that sort of feel for the, the OG Volt, uh, but then you've also got specific places that are just OG in design, other places that sort of have a, a mashup of new and OG together, and then other places still that are all brand new. Uh, I kind of got a feeling that the shoe might fly. Uh, at first sort of look, it's not my kind of shoe, um, but I've got a feeling that the neon and the Air Max 95 story and the sort of militarized uh, narrative that's going with it actually might work and people might sort of be like, you know what, this is, this is something I think I could get, you know. And I don't think there's going to be any other versions of this shoe. I don't think this is the start of a whole new line. I think it's a one-off kind of concept shoe which is going to lend even more uh, sort of mystique to it. So December 30th when this shoe uh, does hit the stores, probably the last Air Max 95 of the 25th, celebratory year uh, it could be it could be something that people are interested in and people go out their way to to try and get their hands on and add to their collections so uh, if you're one of those guys good luck fingers crossed hopefully you'll get what you're looking for um, but that's enough for me it's time for me to sign off thank you guys for checking out the content uh, and the only thing left for me to do is to do what I do at the end of every single video I've been doing this every single day for more than 700 and like 40 days uh, pushing on you know way past the uh, two years of consecutive content not a single day missed and because of that I get to see at the end of every single video that I do this every single day and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow <laughs>